Hello, welcome attendees. It's a pleasure to greet all of you. As a result of a delay in the delivery of my visa and passport, I regret to inform you that I won't be able to attend this work camp in person. So I decided to record my session and present with all of you. Thanks to the organizer of the WordCamp Vancouver to give me this special opportunity. I am Istia Khan Porag, currently working as a product designer in Elegant Themes. I have collaborated with renowned companies such as Themium, Jumshaper, Enclave, Persec, Offspace, and early stage startups affiliated with Y Combinator. So let's dive into the sessions. The power of visual storytelling in web design. The power of visual storytelling in web design lies in the ability to engage and captivate visitors on a website through compiling visual elements, graphics, and images. Visual storytelling leverages the innate human affinity for visuals to convey a narrative, evoke emotions, and communicate a message effectively. Here's why it's important and how it can benefit web design. Number one, emotional connection. Visual storytelling can tape into emotion and create a stronger connection with the audience. A well-designed website can use visuals to evoke feelings of joy, empathy, excitement, or even urgency, depending on the intended message. Number two, memorability. People tend to remember information better when it's presented visually and in a storytelling format. Visuals make content more memorable, which is essential for leaving a lasting impression on visitors. Number three, engagement. Visual storytelling can keep users engaged and encourage them to explore the website further. Engaged visitors are more likely to stay longer, interact with your content, and take desired actions. Number four, simplicity and clarity. Complex information can be simplified and made more digestible through visual storytelling. Infographics, charts, and diagrams, for example, can convey data and concepts more clearly than text alone. Number five, brand identity. Visual storytelling helps reinforce your brand identity. Consistent use of colors, imagery, and design elements can create a recognizable and memorable brand image. Number six, user experience. Effective visual storytelling enhances the overall user experience. It can guide users through your content, make navigation more intuitive, and improve the overall usability of your website. Number seven, conveying information. Visual storytelling can be used to explain processes, tell the history of a company, or showcase the benefits of a product or service in a way that's easy to understand and engaging. Number eight, differentiation. In a crowded online space, visual storytelling can help your website stand out. It allows you to showcase your unique story, values, and offering in a way that separates you from competitors. Number nine, 
mobile optimization. Visual content often performs well on mobile devices, making it an essential component of responsive web design. Mobile users tend to engage more with visuals than with long textual content. Number 10, call to action. Effective visual storytelling can lead users towards specific calls to action, CTS naturally, whether it's signing up for a newsletter, making a purchase, or sharing content. Visual can encourage these actions. In summary, the power of visual storytelling in web design is about creating a more engaging and memorable user experience while effectively conveying your brand message and encouraging desired actions. When done thoroughly and strategically, visual storytelling can be a potent tool for achieving your website's goal. How to become a good visual storyteller? In order to be a big, successful visual storyteller, you have to be a strong visual designer first. Become a good visual designer? Let's dive into it. There is three hours formula. Explore, design, read. So number one tip is store design in folders. Make every section count. Make separate folders like header, hero, about services, testimonials, blogs, contract, footer, etc. Taking and saving screenshot of your favorite designs while browsing. As I mentioned before, every day we watch lots of design stores. Some of them are very pretty, some of them are very amazing and very useful for your upcoming projects. So take the right screenshot of the websites or the designs you visited and store it in the separate folder, like the header folder, hero folder, about folder, services folder, testimonials folder, blogs folder, contract folder, footer folder, etc. So if you continue it for six months or one year, there will be lots of design asset in your folders that can help you to make amazing website very fast later. So, eat, sleep, design, repeat. The only key of a successful visual designers. Same process, eat, sleep, design, and repeat. Let's make a quick website homepage. Fine. Think like you are cooking your favorite meal. For cooking, you need ingredients, right? So we need ingredients for our web design projects. So what is web design ingredients? Web design is a multifaceted discipline that involves various elements, principles, and components working together to create visually appealing user-friendly and functional websites. These elements are often referred to as the ingredient of web design. Here are some key ingredients of web design. Number one, layout, which is very, very important. The arrangement of content on a web page, including the placement of text, images and other elements. A well-structured layout helps guide users and 
presents information logically. Number two, typography. The choice of fonts and their styling, size, weight, color, etc. on your website. Typography affects readability and the overall visual appeal of the site. Remember, identify your purpose before you do anything else. First, identify the purpose of your design. What information do you want to convey? What is the medium for your design? Identify your audience. After determining the purpose of your design, identify your audience. This step is crucial because age and interest will influence your font option. Look for inspiration. Look at the work of other designers. Try understand how they made their decisions for type. Font pairing inspiration. Beyond just fonts, also look at font pairing inspiration. Font pairing is just as important as the fonts themselves. Good font pairing helps establish visual hierarchy and improve the readability of your design. Determine font sizes. The next step after setting on a font combination is determining sizing. Create a typography style guide. The last step of the process is to create a style guide for your typography to help standardize type X across your designs. Number three, color palette. The selection of colors used throughout the website colors evoke emotion and can convey the brand's identity or establish a mood. Number four, images and graphics. Visual elements such as photographs, illustrations, icons, and logos that enhance the design and engage users. Optimizing images for web use is crucial for performance. Number five, navigation. The menu and navigation structure that helps users move through the website. Intuitive navigation is essential for a positive user experience. Number six, white space. The empty space between element on a web page, white space helps improve readability, highlight key content, and create a balanced layout. Number seven, responsive design. Ensuring that the website is accessible and functions well on various devices and screen sizes, including desktops, tablets, and smartphones. Number eight, UI elements. Design components like buttons, fonts, checkbox, and drop-down menus that allows users to interact with the site. Consistent and user-friendly UI elements enhance usability. Number nine, content. High-quality, relevant text and multimedia content that provides value to the audience. Well-written content is crucial for SEO and user engagement. Number 10, call to action. Prominent element like buttons, links, banners that encourage users to take specific actions such as making a purchase, signing up for a newsletter or contacting the business. Number 11, loading speed. Optimizing the website's performance to ensure fast loading times. Slow loading sites can lead to user frustration and high bounce rates. 
12 accessibility designing the website to be accessible to people with disabilities this includes providing alternative text for images ensuring keyboard navigation and adhering to accessibility standards 13 branding reflecting the brand's identity through design elements including logos color schemes and messaging consistency in branding by trust and recognition mission 14 content management system of cms selecting and configuring a cms obviously wordpress to manage and update the website's content easily so in a conclusion web design is a dynamic field and these ingredients can be combined and customized in countless ways to create unique and effective websites tailored to specific goals and audience successful web designers carefully balance these elements to create visually appealing functional and user-centered online experiences that's all you know how to cook delicious website now here is some pro tips that i regularly use while i designing for my company or client so number one research on your topic very well i mean very well and make a list of your competitors this is very important so without knowing your competitors you don't know how to be you successful so research on your competitors make a list and collect all of the research inspiration like it can be layout font colors etc and create a mood board number four design without color and images first like low fidelity wireframe black and white that will save you lots of time as a designer i know that i have give all of my times by thinking what color i should use what images i can bring so that my design stops there or pulls there for certain of time and i again think of it who, who what color i will apply to look it visually great so one thing i decided uh, and i find out that without without the color without the images if i make my design black and white first the layout and after that i apply my color choosing and my photography choosing or icon choosing so that can save a lot of time trust me it saves a lot of time five think every section is a hero or header so design each section separate you can combine all of the sections later it's mean every section should be like your hero so we know basically in every web design the hero section the header section is much more appealing much more fantastic than rest of the web pages that we scroll down so think about like my every section is a hero so you can design every section better as a hero section it will be like all of the pages looks like fantastic number six after you 
design all of the section apply color apply stunning images and illustration and your design is ready to rock repeat this formula every day you will get better happy designing thank you guys and i see you all in the next what camp bye bye